Hello everyone, welcome back to Microsoft Flight Sim where I'm going to try out the amphibious ready group by Miltech Sim that was recently released to the marketplace. It was available elsewhere before, but it was just recently added to the marketplace. It was at a price of $10 and that was the full price. And it allows you to start flights from the deck of the USS America from any of 16 locations around the globe. It includes various vessels uh, so that you have a full group. And these are the locations that are lists here. And it says it is required to turn off crash detection to use this add-on. I'm going to try to not turn off crash detection to use this add-on and see what happens because I don't want to turn off crash detection. The Miltech Sim Osprey, which is very prominently featured in the photo, is not included. I do have the Osprey, but I am going to use the India Fox Teco F35. Now there is another option and that one from India Fox Teco themselves and that is the USS America here and it uh, is only a static landable object right now however eventually I think they're supposed to be adding the ability to start flights from it but right now you can't start flights from this USS America so that's why I got the amphibious ready group instead so anyway we are going to see how it goes and whether I need to turn off crash detection or not so in order to start a flight, and if you do get it, you're going to need to um, probably restart the game to see everything. But AG1 Amphibious Ready Group San Diego. And what it shows here is uh, 435 feet of asphalt and in two directions, obviously. And then I'm going to try the India Fox Echo F-35. Okay, so here we are with the USS America and the F-35 off the coast of San Diego. And we have other F-35s next to us as well as the Osprey. And we are going to try and take off. My guess here is that the crash detection has to be off if you want to land at any of the other ships. Right? Uh, like on the helicopter pads and stuff like that. But not this one because this one is configured like an airport. And it's a static airport. It doesn't move or anything right now. But, uh, yeah, because it's configured like an airport, I think it's safe to take off and land from it, and that is my guess, so we're going to see. Uh, so, first of all, let's get the STOVL mode on, and try this. And off we go. So, we see some of the other ships in the group here. And yeah, with crash detection off, perhaps we would be able to land on them, but probably not with the F-35. And I would need better skills too. <laughs> I'm just gonna try out landing on the America again. And then I'll try it with the Osprey. Alright, gear back down. Uh-oh, I'm going up, I'm going up. Oh, I'm going down. Okay, 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 stop. 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 <laughs> okay, well that was a bit rough. Um, well, we're at the end of it. I wonder, uh, if I put the parking brakes on, can I go straight up? Or am I gonna just flop off the edge? Let's see. I, I've got. Uh, okay, I can make it. I can make it. Okay, we'll try the. We will try the landing again. That was not satisfactory. Okay, well, there's the carrier. I sure hope that we get some decent full sized carriers for like the F 18 in the future. They didn't really give it to us in free flight as part of the Top Gun thing. 
And even in the Top Gun challenges, we weren't able to take off from the carrier, only land, and the landing was a bit questionable, but... <laughs> Okay, landed a little bit further aft this time. Let's see. It's a tight fit though. How does the Osprey manage? Well, I guess the F-35 is fairly large sort of thing. Okay, here we are with the Osprey. I have confirmed that I know what the cow flap, well, what the nacelle control is, and it is cow flap 4. And this is how we look, and it doesn't look like I should be landing right next to the island structure, huh? Yeah, uh, we're gonna end up with our blades chopped off. So, I'll have to try and land over here. I'm probably not gonna go full horizontal to full vert, well, to this. I'm just going to keep it simple for the first try. And I don't even know on takeoff if we can clear the island structure, let's see. Well, uh, we're going off a little bit slowly here. I'm not at full power, but I don't want to push it. Let's see. Well, there's a lot of clouds here. Oh, fine, we'll go full horizontal. Okay, we are in horizontal flight now, which is a specialish mode with this. Oh, now it's be looking good, and finally, perhaps being put to the use it was meant for, maybe. Well, let me knock it out of the simple mode now. Uh, I think I've got to go around. We're a little bit high here. Man, I haven't practiced with the Osprey very much. Right. Sink. Right. Uh, we've done the stall thing. Oh no! Ah! Ah! I crashed. Let me just do a simple flight around the carrier instead of trying anything too fancy. Okay, let's start again. Just gotta go full throttle and try and go straight here. I don't know, am I gonna clear that, that little island structure mast? Possibly. Okay, carrier's over there. Okay, can we just sort of sink like this? Sink right. I'm not going down much. Sink right. Okay, I'll go around. Uh, maybe I need more angle to the nacelles? Sink I don't know. Right. Uh-oh, right. but we can get into trouble real quick. Got the radar altimeter there at least. Sink right, sink right. Trouble is I uh, keep going forward a lot. Okay. Sink right. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Sink right. Ah, I crashed again. I was taking a look at where the carrier was. Every time I crash, I have to wait for the hydraulics to spool up again. Clear the mast? Okay. I don't think I can sink fast enough. <laughs> uh, well, I guess I really don't have to worry about horizontal speed right now. 
Oh, maybe I do. Oh, gosh. Oh, we're down, we're down. Oh gosh. Uh, don't, don't talk to us about how safe that was, but... <laughs> oh, it looks alright. It looks alright. I guess that was fine. Right? <laughs> anyway, made with the Osprey once, but it is hard. It is hard to make it with the Osprey. But... At least I don't have to turn crash detection off, and we've tested that by smacking into water a couple of times. So anyway, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.